I'm Mikey G, and it's Tuesday, June 6th. Panasonic said that it will add a new battery cell production line at Tesla's Gigafactory Nevada to increase production by about 10%. Gigafactory Nevada is a project owned by Tesla, but Panasonic has a battery cell production line within the project. Actually, they got quite a few. Panasonic has been expanding with Tesla, and now they are announcing a 15th battery cell production line. In the report, the publication Nikkei says that Tesla suggested the expansion to Panasonic. The company has already vowed to support Tesla in their battery goals, just last year announcing plans to build a new cell factory in Kansas. Now, while it hasn't been brought to production quite yet, Panasonic is reportedly already looking for a site for another factory in North America. General Motors is launching the 2024 Chevy Equinox EV this fall, what they're calling an affordable game changer with a starting price around $30,000. I'm going to guess they want us to forget about the Chevy Bolt. But ahead of the official launch for the Equinox, the electric crossover was spotted rolling off of GM's production line in Mexico. According to local news, alongside the Blazer EV, General Motors is producing about 100 units a day for export. The electric models could be part of a captured test fleet vehicle program to test and evaluate the models, as GM Authority poignantly pointed out. However, they do have a VIN on the vehicle, suggesting they might be sold at a later date. We have yet to see the public reveal of Acura's first electric vehicle, the ZDX. However, as the debut moves closer, Acura shared all trim levels of the vehicle will come equipped with popular Google Apps already built into the center display. This includes Google Assistant, Google Maps, plus more through Google Play. Acura says that Google Maps in particular has been enhanced for its EV to deliver optimized route planning for recharging. And in an interesting note, although the vehicle, the ZDX and the ZDX S type, will be built in the US, they're also going to be sold entirely online. A Rivian R1T electric pickup truck caught fire while charging at an Electrify America station in California. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Interestingly, the battery pack doesn't appear to be the problem because the damage indicates that the fire may have started around the charge port, which is located in the front driver's side. Neither Electrify America nor Rivian have much to say, considering that it's still under investigation. Now, if you're new to the show, or new to electric vehicles, we will note that electric vehicles are statistically less likely to catch fire compared to gasoline. The gas cars on fire sometimes don't even make local news, let alone national. And now we'll take a look at the next big battery breakthrough sweepstakes. A tongue-in-cheek title for the myriad of impressive battery feats that hopefully can make it to a car near you. All right, Goshen High Technology Company, based out of China, unveiled their new lithium iron manganese phosphate battery chemistry that they say is capable of achieving an energy density of 240 watt hours per kilogram. Now, if you're curious, many lithium iron phosphate batteries are around 190. The chemistry is not a new concept, but issues like low conductivity and energy density have held it back thus far. Goshen believes that their new batteries have reached performance parity with NMC cells, but at a lower cost that is also safer. They also believe that they can hit mass production as early as 2024. At Electrek, we will be counting those chickens when they've hatched. In today's community comment found on YouTube, Jeff McKee asks, how will GM surpass Tesla in 2025? Well, Jeff, I'm going to assume that GM is going to be counting on surpassing Tesla in terms of production and certainly not in profit. They're just going to be soaking up losses straight to the face until that point. But there's also a chance that they could pivot on a more specific meaning of their goal, saying that they surpass Tesla in terms of production for electric trucks or, you know, something like that. But one thing is for sure, by 2025, General Motors is not going to have an electric program that is anywhere near Tesla's profit. Oh well. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.